Hello, I am picking up the reading in the prelude introduction to the series. We were looking at the chart and I will um, find the chart online and include it in a link on this video. So to the sound of bulldogs snoring, let us begin. One mind, God, oneness, Mastoso, heaven, knowledge. We begin with heaven also referred to in A Course in Miracles as knowledge, which is not used as we typically do in everyday speech, where we have knowledge of a subject matter, current events, or a specific person. Its meaning here is in the Greek sense of gnosis, knowledge or truth. The Course thus uses knowledge and heaven synonymously and interchangeably. Heaven is the realm of God and His Majesty, and it is interesting that even though they are spoken of throughout, they are not really described, since heaven's reality is beyond words and concepts. Recall this pertinent line from the workbook. We say God is, and then we cease to speak, for in that knowledge words are meaningless. Since there is nothing one can truly say about God, we must utilize dualistic concepts born in our perceptual world and limited by our linguistic and temporal framework to describe a state that totally transcends conceptual thinking. As I mentioned earlier, A Course in Miracles uses these dualistic concepts not because they are true, but because they are the only way Jesus can speak to us in a way we are capable of understanding. There is a passage which we will look at in much greater depth when we get to chapter 25 in which Jesus explains exactly what he is doing in using the dualistic language we can understand in the condition of separation we think we are in. For this reason, we speak about the activity of heaven as creation or extension, whereby God extends his love and will in a manner transcending time and space. The extension of God's love is Christ, the true Son of God as He created Him. Christ, in the Course, is synonymous with self, which is also spirit, our true nature. Love continually extends itself, and so Christ also extends His self. The extensions of Christ are called creations a term that is also never explained. It is discussed every once in a while and just as quickly set aside because it is not something we can understand. What is important to understand is that these creations have absolutely no reference to anything here. The world's notions of being creative, for example, have nothing to do with the Course's concepts of create or creations, which are simply extensions of non-dualistic love. We see, therefore, that three concepts or terms are included in the Course's view of heaven, God, Christ, and creations, which we could relate to as father, son, and grandchildren even though the latter term does not appear in the Course. God and Christ are the extensions of love, which being what it is, remains totally unified. It is impossible for us who are separated to comprehend how there could be an extension of love that yet is within love, since again our understanding is limited by the state of separation we are and know. In the perceptual universe, extension over time and space is understandable. So, for example, the existence of mothers and fathers is extended in their children, 
These children then grow into adulthood and extend their existence, the parents' grandchildren. This makes sense to us because it parallels our life experience, but that is not heaven's life. There is certainly no way we can understand the terms listed above the solid line on the chart. And I will show you that chart. So looking at this chart, you see the solid line there. Okay, so I'm going to stop here. I thank you so much for joining with me today. I hope you have a beautiful day and I love you. Thank you.